So this is going to be a gratin of Swiss chard. And there is some oatmeal in this, some quatre pieces, uh, some butter. And uh, I didn't add any salt. And at the, in the last 20 minutes of cooking this in the oven, I'm going to uh, beat in, I'm going to add a couple of beaten eggs to this. And no cheese. Now this is an example of one of the spices that I can get you and my spouse was a little bit surprised because this was between four and five euros and he asked me if that was normal. I had just asked for ordinary black peppercorns but he got me this nice mix and uh, this is black pepper, white pepper and Jamaica pepper and sometimes I can get green pepper and pink pepper which is also very good and it may seem a lot to spend five euros on this but I'm sure that this is going to last me a year now this is the Ducro brand which is pretty much the most expensive here um, I can get cheaper stuff loose from the spice lady but it's not legal for me to ship it around the world because it's not labeled or anything I mean I, I guess I could do it on the sly but I don't really like to do that. And the way that I use these peppercorns is I put them with some juniper berries in a pepper mill and a salt mill. The salt is just shaken from the top and it's sea salt. But the pepper from the bottom with the juniper berries um, is a nice mix and I try not to use too much of it because I have pain issues. So if I paid like let's say five euros for this and that in fact it was less and I charge you ten euros for this and I double the postage um, that may seem really expensive but this is a year's supply for a family really so you know do the math <laughs> you know and the rest of the Swiss chard um, got blanched this was all blanched in advance and it took a long time to clean it. It was very dirty, which is a good sign. And the other half, I let it cool down and I froze it. And we'll have that sauteed. And this gratin we're going to have tonight with pork. So that's what's going on with me. I hope you're well. Squeeze it easy.